is if you're trying to really keep this as your map. Of course. Then it's loading up, loading, loading. <clears throat> then, of course, you go onto it. You see all this and that. Okay, so you delete all this stuff that you see in front of you. Delete this. Well, basically all the islands on Kevin Floating. It's just, it should be so, showing the same memory that I should be having. So, of course, you're going to need, like, something like... Like a floating device, of course. Um, floating device, floating device, floating device. Where is that thing? Oh, there it is. Then you place these type of walls, go to galleries, and then you play, type in what I'm typing in. Then you get the type of floors that I get. Then you just place it all around. <clears throat> that should be a good platform. So, of course, you're going to need something like this. This. And that. Next up is the guns. I basically could do any part right now. So you can get like a reset button or something. If you guys know how to make one, you guys don't have to look at this part. I'm going to show you guys how to make like a reset button. So you get like how many buttons as you want. I'd say two or one should be okay. Put it in the right position. And you're going to need like a like an explosive device. Like what I have. Uh place it up higher a little bit more. Like this right here. Of course you do customize it. Health should be indestructible blast radius to five. Player damage, zero. Structure damage, up to 5,000. Explode on proximity, off. Knockback, off. Ignore team damage, of course, that's how it's supposed to be. Display damage numbers now. Proximity delay. Ignore team, play audio, no. Range visio, no. Visible during game, no. Collision during during games. Collides with everything. Show health bar. No. Oops. Oh. Explode when receiving from channel one. Channel one. When explode. Reset. From channel. Reset the device when receiving from. I'm sure it should always reset, right? Of course, it should be like this. And with the buttons, an interactive glyph. Tran when transmit a signal on the selected channel when a player interacts with the device. Enable when receiving from enables the device when interactive with We change this into channel one interaction text. Change it to reset or keep it to default. You just have to remember that it's reset if you want to be more particular or more or more like specific of knowing what you're pressing, you could pr you could just type in reset. Bring team any and for team selection off allow class times can trigger infinite delay always one second reset delay
trigger sound disabled enabled at game start of course uh, and interact with channel one of course if you want to be lazy and stuff you can delete this one and copy this one if you want you can always if you're just trying to like if you are trying to like test out stuff you should always start the game and stuff and then see if this those type of channels like try and give it a workout if you like it or not of course the guns are next well first let's just do the my island settings time of day if you want this to be a zero delay i say you put this at 5 a.m and like brightness up to 10 percent that'll just make it look better of course so map starting shields of 100 Oh, we shield? No, don't mess with that. Infinite consumables? That's up to you if you want to have it off or on. I have it on just in case. Um. Building can destroy environment? No. Environment damage? Player built? Player built only? Structure damage? Enemy and self built? Player build. Yep. Pickaxe destruction. No. Oh no. Yes. Keep. Jump fatigue off if you want to have that on. Well, then it should be always off. You could put on the sprinting and mantle on if you want but I, I, uh, I wouldn't have that on though that's for me that's for me though focus on and of course you should always add siphon into your map <laughs> oh didn't realize that and then yeah I'm sure that's it with the settings I even settings and then you get like the weapon spawners. I'm sure of. You can you can get a supporter creator creator thing if you have like a creator creator code and you want to like place it somewhere so people could support you. Put it like right over here, or I have another another place where you can place it somewhere later on in the video. Um. And now you just, um, um, get like a player spawn pad. I said, like, over here. Place as many as you want. That's the minimum amount I want, of course, and. Oh, um, now you just need weapons. You could put regular 1v1 weapons right over there or something, but I'm going to put just purple pump and, uh, like, basically the pumps that people would rather for and uh, and the assault, assault rifles and minis. That's I just put over there for now. If I could just find it. If you guys want to actually get this done faster, you should customize a, a setting on one, one of them, and then you just copy it and place it down. Sure. So mystic, legendary, purple, and legendary. That, then mythic scar, legendary scar, purple scar. And blue AR. And then minis. Okay. So, of course, I would want. Where is that thing at? So, you. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Mystic 
shotgun. Oh, purple. Wait, where's the legendary one? Take this and that. Oh, uh, where's the pump? Where's the pump? Or am I just too blind to see it? I know I saw it somewhere. Did I? Or did I not? Cause I know it's somewhere. There's so much purple guns. Um. Oh, there it is. Sorry, guys. I'm completely blind. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. And of course, we're gonna have a mythic scar right there. If I could just find one. There. Probably like a purple scar should be good. Purple. Oh. Uh, it's a blue AR, blue AR, blue AR. Blue AR. Of course, if you guys want to do this, uh, I pretty much forgot what I was getting, but eh, it's okay. It's not like a big of a deal. Now, wait, no, minis. Now, what's next is. We're going to need like mutator zone and of course um where is that at of course a barrier sorry of course I'm slow today being slow today and uh, let me equip this we pull out the barrier. Alright, let's expand this up. Turn this to Nebula, whatever that thing is called. 100. It's on the foot. Okay, there we go. Which now this is what the mutator zone is needed for. We can't place this thing anywhere, so that's what we're going to need. Oh, I guess we're gonna need the other version of the mutator zone. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Did I miss it anywhere? Where's the other version of the mutator zone? No, that's okay. Just always find a different spot. Okay, now we just put the sucker zone with the zone dip. Okay. When player player starts him, we put this on channel two. Uh, that, mo that might look crooked, but that's okay. Okay, now we go really high. Okay. Now the most important part needed is the hover platform. Place this here. If you guys just don't want a barrier, you don't need a barrier if you don't want it. But of course, um, I'm gonna put the barrier there just to make it look good. Channel two. Zone two. There we go. Of course, uh, where is that barrier plate device? Yeah. 
here, you're dead. See, that looks good. Now, all we need to do is just get like a rift or so. Where can we find a rift, a rift, a rift, a rift? Here's a rift. Um. Yeah, we place it somewhere like right here. Right here, about there. No group at all, link to target, no play sound effects, no visual effects, no. Teleport to when receiving from channel to or when teleported to. No, that's, I'm sure that's good, I'm sure that's good. Teleport a rift invisible, no. Uh, pretty sure that's it. I'm sure this is how you make a 1v1 map. You put in a code. I put this one in. I don't have a creator code, but somebody's have their 